Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to discuss a scenario, and scenario is system admin sends you an email that SQL being a SQL Server, I'm assuming that you're SQL Server DBA. So system admin sends you an email that SQL Server services are taking almost all the memory. What steps would you take to resolve it? So um, just uh, before we uh, get to um, how we configure SQL Server memory, uh, one thing I do wanted to m uh, mention up here that SQL Server is a memory hog. Uh, any available memory, if there is, and SQL Server um, is not limited, is not the memory is not configured, it's going to grab all the memory it can take from the operating system. So that that could uh, uh, bring down uh, the system because the operating system might not have enough memory to run uh, efficiently. So make sure that uh, it's always a good practice to uh, configure SQL Server uh, maximum memory uh, at the least. But um, I always go if uh, it's it's a production server and you know the load and everything, you should configure both minimum and maximum memory of SQL Server. Now l let me quickly show you how to configure that. So I'm gonna go in uh, SQL uh, in the in the server where SQL Server instance is installed. I'm gonna go ahead, right click, and go to properties. And up here, when you go to properties, you, properties, you will see a tab called memory. And here is a, a, a SQL Server uh, memory. If you're running in production and you know the load and you know that minimum memory required for SQL Server to run efficiently, um, you know, uh, minimum that it should hold no matter what, whether connection are being made to SQL Server or not, then that is minimum SQL memory. Let's say that I give couple gig, uh, depending how much, uh, it, it depends how much memory I have and what are my limitations as far as uh, memory goes. So I can configure minimum memory. And up here, this is very important, uh, maximum server memory. Up here, you will configure, you will limit SQL Server that maximum uh, memory it can grab is this much so you can configure one gig two gig ten gig depend uh, depending upon your your requirement but this will uh, make sure that sql server does not grab all the memory and bring down the system i hope it helps